Dvorsky talking about Makita Batikowski. What's going on, guys? We are we're here. We're live late night, early morning, impromptu live stream. Because I was watching back this um this Triton 500k super high roller, whatever it's called, and um they're playing short deck hold'em and they keep limping in with kings and aces. And I have absolutely no idea what's going on. So I was gonna watch it back anyway, but I decided to just do a live stream. And um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll we'll watch it. We'll listen to the commentary. We'll try to figure out how to play this fucking game. And um, and yeah, so I have absolutely no idea what's going on. They're limping in kings. What is going on here? Why do they? It, this is a crazy game. So it's a tournament, but they limp in kings, and there's there's. I don't know what's going on here. I think a, a a flush beats a straight, I believe, or a flush beats a full house, I guess. Apparently. So we're gonna try to figure out what's going on here, and uh, hopefully we can all all kind of learn what's going on here. This is some very weird game, my friend. Yes. Oh God. So, why don't we can't? I don't know why they don't raise kings, or, or well, I guess we're gonna figure out how exactly things work here. But uh. But yeah, so short deck hold'em is they take out the deuce through five in the deck, X Y Stumpy, and then apparently a flush beats a full house. So there's no twos, threes, fours, or fives in the deck. Jason Kuhn has straight. I'm gonna try to get the audio levels where I can talk and I can talk over it, but you can still hear Nano and uh, and Lex doing some commentary here. Everyone has like a really nice piece, actually, if you look carefully. Yeah, short deck hold them. Yeah. Ivan's got a flush draw and a pair. Kuhn has a straight draw and a flush draw. I can't tell what everyone has here. Of course, he has bottom two pair. Tang has a straight draw. This is as connected as it this gets for everyone. This is a very confusing hand. Who I bet? Mean, I mean, Tom Dwan bet with kings, of course. As blockers, <laughs> it's, it's the kind of like the second best blockers you can have. Tens would be a lot better because the same. What's going on, guys? If you guys are joining me right now, much love to y'all. I've been researching but Men the Master all the entire the night. One still thinks it gives him the push that he needs. Yeah, it's kind of like a. A blocker feel bet too. It's a lot of a blocker feel bet. I don't know what is happening spot, here. So you know, Durr bet the turn, the and turn. all three Look people called. He makes a call with bottom two pair, and is actually doing really well in equity. He's got 29%. Everyone actually has an even chance here. <laughs> what is going How on? How sick that he recognizes that. Yeah, Tom Dwan has got the worst. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's not a brick. Oh sick my. river. Do you know what? Tell him about it. Tell um, him about the flush. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I will. Tell you honestly, I did not oh, wait. No, no, wait. No, wait, 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 wait. A flush. Wait, what? A flush beats a full house. So queen eight is a better hand here than nine sixes. What the hell? What's going on here? Yeah, Donald, this is in 500k in Hong Kong dollars, not American dollars. So... Yeah, Liao has a flush. He has the Duke down. Well, not really. If a I flush mean, a four -way pot on the four If a flush turn, beats a full house, then call, bet and call. So it makes a He has the fourth has nuts because a quads a disperse nut. Yeah. That's pretty hard to make a full house. making some big some of them were incorrect, some were correct. This one, it's a very big decision. He still has two players to act as well. Yeah, that's, that's also a big thing. It's kind of suspicious I never look tired. I'm tired of, I'm tired for sure right now. So he's keep all these things in mind. Yeah, David says, shout out David, by the way. It's his 63K buy in here. Up against Ivan Leo, this guy what up, my man, John B? What's happening, brother? What's going on, man? I'm definitely tired. Y'all tripping right now. All of his chips. So if he happens to lose his hand, he's still in it. So Pogorski has the... knows this is a big decision. Pogorski has the... How many nuts is here? Not a very nut hand at all. That's for sure. He does call with the full house. Ivan 
wins a one point so we're just watching back the replay right now of uh, the highlights. This is a highlight video on YouTube. I don't, I don't really want to watch the whole entire seven-hour stream of this. What's going on, Luke? Living Clue, Paul Borgen. What's up, guys? What's happening, brothers? So I guess we don't raise preflop in this game. It appears, my friends. We just limp in. So 10-6. I guess we just... I'm just going to watch. I don't know. What up, Yop Jansen? What's up, Papi? I love your content. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's cool to hear, my friend. Thank you. My friend, my friend. What's up, Cold Rummer? What's happening, brother? We're trying to learn right now, man. We're trying to learn. Who, this, what's this guy's name? This guy's name is Lou. He's got Queen Jack. Why is he betting? Why, why would he bet? Because he blocks king queen, and he. This actually puts Steven in a tough spot, but Steven's not gonna. He's like, I'm done folding. Yeah. Tang has top pair with a ten kicker. Just knows Ivan's been up to I live in Vegas, much. guys. It's four a.m. here right now. But what's up, Luis uh, what Umbers? Davison, what's happening, brother? What's up, man? Okay, what up, brother? Turn. Motive, what's happening? What's happening? Steven's what up, big poppy? Ass. So now Luas thinking about betting again as a bluff with the jack blocker. Two card Omad feels like it. Yeah, betting second pair in a five player pot does seem pretty weak. I agree. Hard press to call, but he's just going to check it back. It's not too sure what Tang has. Hmm. I don't think no one can like their hand now. But. Maybe. I don't know what's happening. It's a long night. I've been um I've been researching for a video I was working on, guys, with about Men the Master and his angle, sh angle that he shot. And um, now, Tang looking to turn his hand I just couldn't figure out a video that I really player, liked. So this is definitely so he's a hand. turning his hand to a, bl a, bluff a bluff here, trying to get him off two pair. Seven, eight makes a straight, but it's very inconsequential here because there was flop action. Wait, 7-8 makes a straight right now. What the, what the fuck? What? Better hands How is seven eight a straight? He knows that Ivan probably doesn't have a big hand because he checked back to turn in what? position. This so this is a replay, Mark. Ivan I'm watching a highlight video on hand. YouTube. <laughs> Sofa. Kind of like I sensed your stream on the fourth and woke up at this ungodly hour. So is what is he thinking about calling? What the fuck is going on? I really like the bet as well. What is he thinking about? I mean, I guess he's betting King Ten here. Who bet Queen Ten this way? But what he called a flop of Queen. This ten, game's sick. <laughs> yeah, remember it was four, why would he ever think? Why would he ever call right now? This doesn't make sense. He just thinks that. Wait, what? That is That's a stretch. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, even Demon surprised. <laughs> why the hell would he call? It seems like one of the worst hands of all time to call with. <laughs> Hong Kong businessman. Oh, an ace is a five. An ace. Okay, so an ace is a high or a low. Okay, cool. What the hell was that hand? Jack ten suited. They took. They said Jack ten suited is one of the best hands preflop. It does. It does well, but you know you're flipping, right? Like you're never crushing a hand with Jack ten. It's a really good hand to, to call a lens with when you have chips invested. <laughs> what's go for it. Uh, Tom Duan tries to win the tournament right now. Not care about the money bubble, so he's gonna put Rui Cal at risk. Dominic Bartolino, so crack a beer, brother. Jack of Diamonds. Join me, my friend. Late night live stream here. Duan was hoping his opponent had a hand like Ace King or Ten Nine suited. This is a big bubble. Oh, I started streaming about ten minutes ago, Cal Mark. Gets eliminated, who gets zero dollars, and everyone else will be guaranteed a quarter million dollars. Here it's a weird Duan. game. Ooh. Duan out flops him? Like, Nobody's yeah. nice. not a favorite. Yeah. Good flop for me. 54% to win the pot. Real KO, okay, legendary online high stakes player. Ooh. Uh, right now it's Lex Feldhaus and Nananoko commentating. 
How's the audio sound, guys, here? Wow, this is a... scary. Here comes a river card. Oh, oh sick. Krui Cal is going to double here, two pair. So I just don't understand. Now. Every card. Why would he? Sh <laughs> like, how do we know how many blinds we have? It looks like it's a. Two point four. I don't. I don't think there are blinds in this game, so I don't know. It's an ante. I just. I think it's just an ante. All in from Pogorski. under the gun. King Jack offsuit. Needs to dodge many players here. Ooh, aces. aces for Ivan Leo on the dealer button. Oh no. Pogorski's in trouble. On the money bubble. Pogorski at risk. 1.46 million. St we in the we still don't know how many, how many blinds we know how, we, how many blinds we have here. So I. Oh man. Is it 50,000 or so? 50,000 on the button, 25,000 ante. Podorski had 680,000. Podorski needs some cards. Anti double. So, how much if they want to. Oh, wow. Sick. Ivan Leo can hit a six. This game is action as fuck. This is crazier than PLO, I think, is. So, he needs a heart, a six, or an ace. Oh, and then a flush beats the full house. So if he makes a flush, the other guy's drawing dead. More outs, 54% equity. You can see all the outs on the screen. Pogorski. Oh, he's wrapping up. He's trying to. He doesn't feel very good about this. Here comes a river card. Heart. It's a oh. Ten. Ivan Leo makes a straight, eliminating Pogorski. That was sick. All in pre-flop. Pogorski just open shoves. Ivan Leo calls on the dealer button. Of GG. Pogorski is going to get zero dollars. Eliminated on the bubble. Wow. Everyone guaranteed 252,000 USD. Ivan Leo still commanding chip. He looks tilted as fuck. Look at him. What a sick way to go out. Yeah. Seems like a bad shove, but we don't know enough. It was... Jack. Are they just going to start Gorski shoving all in now? This hand under the gun on the bubble. Dwan trying the same move. 10-9 suited for Ivan Leo. No. 10-9 suited is a good hand in this game. Mm -hmm. Very similar to Jack-10 suited. How? What? What? <laughs> <the> call. <laughs> just two people behind him. But once you make a call, no one behind you is going to make a play at you about a premium. Why would he call? What's the equity here? He shakes two players. He has. Here. What's the equity here? Do we know? Juan, King Jack versus ten nine suited. Why does he call with ten nine suited? Ivy busted. I mean, Ivy is this Chinese bingo? I don't know what the hell is going on here. This seems like something. What are the equities? Show us the fucking equities, please. So why would he why why would he just call? It doesn't make sense. He's basically flipping at best. Reasonable flop for Ivan, fifty-two percent equity. <laughs> but then why does he call? It just doesn't I mean, just with the ante. Nine. So the ante. <laughs> King Jack. So twenty-five k ante, fifty k button. He just thinks Here comes a turn card. that he's never less than fifty percent or something like that, or he's never. Ivan makes a pair. Tom Dwan needs a king or a jack, I or he will be eliminated. I don't know. <laughs> Fifth place. Equity's very close 50 50 here, Matthias says. Matthew. Pre flop, but then. It's a queen. Tom GG. Tom, Dur Tom Durduan's out. Hey, what do you guys say about Tom Duan's game today? I mean, I think he played really well. I think it's really cool to see, too, that, you know, he's discussing the strategy there with Rui Kyle about his Jack 10 hand. Um. I don't know. Dirt looks like he's really feening for some action. Online. I'm kidding. Who doesn't? It's better to call all in with a 9-10 than have high cards because you have good equity and less often you are dominated. Nikki yeah, says. Well. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I imagine we're going to be seeing more of this game, guys, so we better get used to it. So 10-9 is good in this game. Okay, so we have a hand here. It looks like um, Jason limped under the gun. 
Luau raised to 250k, and now Kuhn's gonna limp call with 10-9 offsuit. What up, Orbital? What's happening, brother? What's going on? So Ivan doesn't have too much here. So if you're tuning in, guys, we're watching short deck. The high. deuces through fives are out of the deck. He's gonna check. So six plus, and a flush beats a full house, and an ace is an also a five Turns too. A diamond draw. Jason Kuhn has a gut shot straight draw. Kuhn might be pretty enticed to bet this turn because king queens. Ace Queens, Ace King without a flush draw will probably fold. So this is a good card for us to stab. Very I mean, we to take a stab here, and that's why he's reaching for chips. I don't know what limping ranges are here, and how they're building limping ranges, or how we should ever build a limping range. In the middle. Ten nine offsuit, forty six percent versus Ace King suited. That is draw. pretty crazy. I can't really fault him for continuing for so, flush draw because flush. Three of a kind beats a straight. No, it doesn't. Come on, don't lie. That can't be true. Try and hold him. Are you guys trolling me? Call? I think he has to call here, right? So four players remaining. In I guess Jason's game. probably limping seven eights, nine tens, stuff like that. Perfect card is a queen. Ivan Ooh. makes the nut flush. Ooh, that's a, that's that's the he best hand, basically, here. besides quads. He to read the situation. What kind of hands can he get Ivan to fold? What kind of hands do Ivan? Make? What's up, Anon? Anon, greetings from Arizona. What's happening, brother? What's up, Poppy? What's going on? This is two card something, Christy. This is something. This is something weird, some weird game. How much does he bet now? He's got to action it on him. A million chips in the middle. Probably goes pretty big. What's he doing? Looks like Jason Kuhn has bet here. Oh, Jason bet. Oh, okay. Never mind. Three of a kind beats a straight. Okay. Any kind of middling hand. There's no way he's gonna fold a flush. What? Ivan just needs to decide how big to raise here with the nut flush. Only loses to pocket sevens. That bluff by Jason seems seems pretty good. Or, I mean, who knows if it's good or not, but it seems okay, I guess. Even though we don't block a diamond. But with it being the Queen of Diamonds, maybe it takes away some some flush combination cards that Leo can have. I hope this game doesn't catch on. This game seems really confusing. Even bigger straight, disguised one. His ten eight suit is not a hand that's always played. Let's actually go, but go back to the ace king hand real quick, guys. Hold on a second. So okay, so on this river, so he bluffed the river half pot with ten nine offsuit, and I guess he's thinking that. So what's he thinking? So why does he decide to bluff this hand? Because we know Jason plays a lot of a short deck. So why does he decide to bluff ten nine offsuit? He doesn't have a, a blocker in his hand for a diamond, and he also doesn't block 8-9, which could be a hand, but I guess they wouldn't raise that preflop. So what does he think Luau has when he calls here on the turn? Probably a flush draw. Maybe what else could he really have? A 7, maybe? I guess he could have a 7. So why would he decide to bluff that hand on the river? Maybe he thinks he's overfolding. I don't know. Can't figure out why he would, um, why he would decide to bluff this river. Seems like a bad bluff, but I don't know. So Who knows? What's up, Jared? What's happening, man? What's going on? Yeah, I don't see this game catching on. I don't know what the blind structure is, Joe. I'm not. I honestly have no idea. The blind is everyone antes, and there's a button of 60k chips. All right, Addy says that it makes sense. Gus Hansen podcast going down. We'll see. We'll see. So is Luau a uh, flush beats a straight? Yeah, just watching Ivan play throughout this week. So Chaos turning his ace into a bluff really here. It's hard to play against an unpredictable player who's very aggressive. Three of a kind does Thousand not beat a straight. <laughs> Ivan just knows he's got the best hand. So is he bluffing? Well. 
he's got a lot of chips. Even if he's wrong, he's not going to lose What the fuck is going on? In this pot. Uh, oh, he's... What is Cal's it? going to make the call here. He cannot win the pot outright. Only tie with 10 rolls off. A spade would save him. He's a river card. It's a spade. So this should slow down Ivan a bit. It's a scary card. He thought he had a seven that hand. I don't know. What he is he? People aren't raising many sevens preflop. So he's gonna check. Guess which way the chips are going. More Ivan Leo. Six point eight million. Wow, it's crushing. This is for value with the ten eight. Okay, that makes sense. Commanding chip lead. I had PLO and Nolan and Holden confused in my mind real quick there. What's happening, PR? Peter Decourt. Papi, what's up? Greetings from Belgium. What's happening, brother? What's going on, man? What's happening? What's happening? Real a flush is harder to make than a straight. Equity. So now he's thinking about calling with 9 of diamonds. So what price do people need? So what... What price do people need if with the antis and the big button? So five ante, one fifty, two ten. What a weird ass game. So Rui Cal is at risk. Jack ten against nine eight suited. Seems a little bit surprised he got called by nine eight suited, but. I need to go to Asia. Um, I, this is on Twitch, actually, guys, normally. I'm watching this back. This is a replay. But they've been streaming on Twitch on the Triton Poker. So KO shoves Jack-10. Tang calls 8-9. What's up, Martin Dam? What's happening, man? What's going on, brother? What's going on? Oh, the button's last to act. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay, the button is last to act. That makes sense. That makes sense. Who, who wins? Who loses? I can't tell. What are they saying? Oh. <laughs> Why are they high fiving? So I want to remind you that Jason Kuhn is no stranger to short deck. He won a million Hong Kong dollar buy in in Montenegro for 3.6 million USD. Also, final table for fourth place in 250K for 170,000 USD. And now here's that another. What's up, Rafael Diasante? Sa What's happening, man? What's going on? And your ante goes towards a call pre, so basically everyone is a small blind. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. So if you are the ante, you only have to call 30 more to see the flop. That's why so many people just call pre-flop, but why don't they raise pre-flop then? I was bluffing, but did you bluff me on that hand? I feel like we were both bluffing. I said I feel like this happening. I was bluffing with 10-9, and then you bluffed with ace of diamonds king or something. I don't know who's trolling me in the chat about the rules of this game. Wow. Okay, so if you fold 7-8, okay. There has to be a solver out soon for this damn game. First place is 8.4 million Hong Kong. <laughs> Raffaele Di San. Raffaele DeSanti, I'm trying to say your name. I want to see Ben CB solve this game in two weeks. <laughs> so look, they just call 30,000 more here. Okay. And then Jason's last act with the dealer button. Jason Kuhn making a play of A7. He just realized he's a bit short stack. 
and this is a bluff. I even usually raise reasonable hands. Great move, Eric. Really good Nine. timing. Nine billion. Nine billion. That's something. That's Martin says, why am I up so early? I've been working on a video most of the night, Martin, about a recent angle shooting incident that took place, and I was diving into this guy's history. CCM, I heard them talking in one of these Triton games. Someone already made a solver. Yeah, I would imagine someone already made a solver. But So Jason takes it down there. Okay. Sense weakness. I'd be curious to see um, how this plays with different stack sizes because you can't just shovel in pre every fucking time. Right? I don't know. So he just calls the 30, 40 more. He calls 40 more. He checks, okay. Okay, 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 okay. The angle shooting video probably not, maybe come out Saturday. I don't know. I just like couldn't figure it out what I want to do with it. So I got tired. No, it's not. It's not as good as the joke bet angle video. No chance. It's about men the master. But I couldn't. I can't really find any proof he's really done done many things wrong. Just a lot of speculation and allegations over the years. Kevon, what's happening? Joey, it's Kevon, the one that was telling you about the Men the Master and the Cafe. Loses to 10 8 and Ace 8, usually. This is going to just be really good news for Jason Kuhn. Such a big setup. One of these guys might join him as a short stack, or even worse. That's speculation. Rutow's just going to call here. I mean, he does have to be a little bit worried as opponent has 10 8. Doesn't want to get. All of his chips in. No, not Angle. Angle and Alec. It wasn't Angle and Alec. He didn't do anything here. There's so much changes on the river in this game. This card's a king. Actually brings a bigger straight out. Ten jack or a flush. So it should slow things down. Jeff Rocks, it's hard to raise pre unless you have a premium starting hand. The equities run so close, you need to see a flop to realize that your equity. Um... Is there value in betting? It's going to check. Rui Kalp is straight. Yeah, it's alleged that Men the Master has a collusion ring. That's what I've been reading about many different allegations, but never any proof. Oh, he had a straight? Holy shit. Oh my god. He had a straight? Oh, Ace Eight's a straight. Oh my God, I'm so confused right now. Wow, I'm like, I was, I'm actually shocked. It's kind of like they're kind of racing each other to not bust first. Yeah. They know Ivan is willing to play two million, four million chip pots, so they need to be careful. Hmm. Ivan. Define collusion ring. So there was a collusion ring. I mean, I don't know. It seems fucked up, man. He used to allegedly stake people. He used to stake a bunch of different Vietnamese players. And then um, he staked Vietnamese players. And then there were some allegations that he would they, there'd be chimp dumping going on. And they couldn't lose a hand to him. And, and all this kind of stuff that went on for years. And, um, and yeah, the, it's, uh, I don't know. But there's no proof of this anywhere ever on the internet. Like, maybe there's only stories. And this is really old, too. This was back in the day. So Jason shoves Jack Nine suited. Is going to hold this hand. This is just too small of a shove. Ivan Leo's all in. And then Ivan reshoves Ace Queen. Could be a Jack Nine, really powerful though. The equity should be really close. Actually. What up, too fat Matt? What's happening, brother? All right. Ah, not the heart. Everything else is pretty alright. Don't worry, the flush never comes anyway. <laughs> Especially now, yeah. And there's an ace out there, which is really good for uh, Jason Kuhn here. All right, so Jason Kuhn needs a So Jason had about 11 buttons. Queen, seven, seven, 
I don't know if that matters or not, though. That flop for Jason Kuhn, nine percent chance. You never see it that low. That is really rough. Addy Gangster. What games? It was in tournaments and I think cash games too. I don't really. It's there's not much information out there to be honest. But I've heard stories from cash games too as well, where this kind of stuff was happening. I don't know. It's all pretty. It's all like. Oh. Backdoor gutter for the win. Best feeling in the world. I've been thinking it really well. Gordon Veo played heads up in the main event. The gang literally threatened to kill him unless he let the other guy win. Oh, you mean Key win? That's actually insane, yeah. What a river. Alex, what's up, man? Yeah, I was not. I was not the Aria. Nah, no Aria. Anytime recently, really, for me. I just go there just to hang out for the most part. Super Sheep, what's up, Poppy? What's happening? Much love, Poppy. Thanks for all your hard work. Gracias. If you thought equities ran close in Potlub and Omaha, you have not met short deck Hold'em. And equities run really close here. See, like Kevin's telling some story about men the master stake him. This is all the, all the information really that's out there. It's just a bunch of stories from people. Alex says we need to grab a drink and catch up. I am in. Sounds pretty fun to me. Let me know when you're in town, my friend. I like drinking and I like going out in Vegas. Going out, just not necessarily. I go out to clubs, but I also like just going out to hang out. So. Jacked PLO. Killing time at work. We're headed to the pop in Omaha tables at Parks. I like that. That's dope, man. Good luck today, brother. I saw Sasha in the chat earlier. Hello, Sasha. Hello, Sasha. Short deck PLO sounds sick as fuck. Yeah, it does. Is Jason going to bluff this? All in. All you can eat. Over bet. Folds. Bang bang. Nice bluff. I guess he thinks if uh so let's think about that. So he shoves river. I guess Jason thinks that if um if he had ten jack he'd raise the turn when the eight comes. He doesn't have seven ten because he wouldn't call the flop. So he thinks he probably has a hand like what ace nine, queen nine, queen eight, king queen, something like that on the river. So that's why he decides to bluff that, which makes sense because he probably just raises ace, most of his ace queens pre flop, raises his sets on the flop, maybe. Most likely. So Jason, you see the turn, he bet 200k there into um, the less than half pot. It kind of gives him a, I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out. What the fuck's happening? We already saw Six, this. Seven, okay. Oh, what a move here. I guess it makes a lot of sense. There probably isn't many hands where KL can have a 10, too. So Tang just limps ace-king. Kiao limps 
with 10 9. Jason's going to go all in with Ace Jack. This Tang guy is definitely going to snap call, right? No? What the hell is he doing? What's he doing? Oh, he calls. Okay. Yeah. We're going to talk about why he's saying it's stupid in a, in a little bit. Looking really good, though, but. He's yelling it's stupid? Not the same as in Hold him. Hold him. He tries and hold him. Ace Jack has a lot more potential to make a straight. What are the equities here? Guess I'm gonna say that he has around 32% with Ace Jack. Eek. Whereas in Nolan told him it would be about 27. Big difference. Uh oh. He's got Nolan outs for a chop. Well, right? So was Tang trapping or was he actually not? Was he sad about that? He seen but Oh my god. Jack. Wow. Oh my god. Damn, Jay Kuhn runs like Jesus fucking god. Jesus Christ, dude. Holy no moly. Yeah. Out in fourth. So we broke this four player deadlock that we've been in for a while. Fourth place. Wow. Even tank, $336, it's down to three. Really awesome to That's how you win tournaments, guys. Guy. You got to get it in and behind and win. Plays very interesting poker. So now the question is why did he say it's so bad? Ace King is very vulnerable on Lin situations. You're flipping against Jack 10 suited, for instance. Even a hand like Queen 10 has like 42% against you when you go all in. Uh, when you, uh, yeah, when you go all in against that hand pre flop. So, what he's saying is, I should just go all in myself and really protect the chips in the middle because then you're going to make hands like that fold in this situation. Whereas now, he kind of has to take a flip and he doesn't want to. So, really Yeah, cool Tang. That was a dumb play. The situation. Don't limp in with Ace King. I think we're learning. Yeah. Here's chip stacks, 170 antis. So they look like they're pretty deep now. Yeah, they look they look pretty deep now. Ooh, not straight. Where are we the best of it here? Flops are straight. Sasha says smash the like button. The commentator is Lex. Felipe. So cow bets. We put in an 11 hour casting session, so we do need to get up, uh, get some food sometime. Cow raises 100, makes a small raise. He obviously folds. Why would he get some action? He has king, queen, high. What? Why would he call? Oh, he is getting a good price. Okay, the pot, the pot is 2.1 million, so he has to call 575 more into a pot to win two. I mean, yeah, I guess. Yeah. But still, I mean, I don't know. King, queen. I do not play short deck. This is my first time I've ever watched it. Takes it down. Jason Kuhn's always eating, I've noticed, at the poker table. He's constantly eating. Just yesterday we put in an 11-hour stream. I don't think it's going to be much shorter tonight, to be honest. I mean, there's an event going in full force with three entries all the way through. <sighs> Is that a nice, I would guess, seven hours ahead of us? So we're seeing a lot of flops in this game, it appears. Jason's in the cutoff. I'm ready. Looks like he raises to 400k. Definitely see a lot of mixed strategies. Takes it down. People with lower pocket pairs. Coon winning one now. And so six is just insta folds there. Oh, tens and jacks. Uh oh. Jacks. All right, so not what happens now? Limp raise with this or limp call. So Jason limped under the gun. So he limb calls pocket tens, okay. To, uh, to 
I guess it makes sense. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. Absolute, what? Absolutely disgusting flop for Jason Kuhn. Especially against a player like Ivan Lowe. Wow. But it's a sick flop. That's what you get. All those aggressive moments pay off into this one. I really like the lead here by Kuhn. I mean, unfortunately, he's wrong. Very slim. Kuhn leads really like 300k lead. want, into, uh, into what, 7 something? Jeff Brock, has anyone ever sat down for... People have interviewed me, yeah, but... Yeah, we've, I've been interviewed before. Not not often, but I've been interviewed before. Probably like 10 or 15 times. So Leal raises to 900k. Does he just put it in here? Did you just call? There he goes. No, he's all in. Calls. Yeah, no okay. He's really not going to be pleased about this. Yeah, he's not good. Straight, at least. Yeah. All right. I guess set or set must happen a lot more often in short deck. It seem, would seem that way, I guess. It has to happen more often, right? Uh, yeah, it has to because we've got more people going to the flop a lot too. and. People aren't raising some of these pocket pairs pre-flop, so. Ten. Ooh, nope, can't do it. GG. Third place for Jason Kuhn. Sofa says, I was surprised to see you on Pamsey's channel a year ago. Yes, I was on Pamsey's channel a year ago. That's true. Shout out to Pamsey. So Jason wins 3.6k million Hong Kong, which is like $200. No, I'm kidding. I don't know how much it is, honestly. Very tricky and heads up because so, you to play out of position throughout the hand. Kiao limp calls King Jack here. Again, slow. There's the trophy. I kind of want to go back. I didn't watch the first 45 minutes. I kind of want to go back and watch the first 45 minutes. Just because I kind of want to see exactly. He's going to off the bet. It's actually going to make it a little bit easier, I think, to play in this situation. Because I kind of want to see exactly. um. What the hell's going on with more people? Yeah, 500K in the buy in, 65,000 United States dollars. Correct. Big J, what up, Big J? What's happening, buddy? Hungry man. I'm learning. I'm studying right now. I'm in the lab. I'm in the lab, learning how to play a new game called Short Deck. It don't make no damn sense to me. I don't even care who wins. I just want to go. I want to learn how to play. I don't even want to. I might not watch this actually. Now we'll watch it to see who wins. Only got three minutes left. But I want to go back to the beginning and watch some more from the beginning. Does any site have short deck game? Um, I don't know. 420 Blaze. And it's 430 in Vegas right now. Pretty credibly a rep of full house. That's the better to win. Very hard for... So flush. You could have flush. You could have straight. You could have full house. You could have trippies. Doesn't happen a lot, but doesn't help him. Only secret sites have short deck. I mean, they're not that fucking safe here at Walker. Calm down. You don't know the goddamn nuclear codes, my friend. There, there's some app sites, all right. Calm down. Ivan, I mean, he's made some big calls in the past. He, he, made wow. he does he call. Made call. Wow. Okay. Look at this four texture, Ivan. Eleven million chips. That is a that is an amazing call. Eye poker has it. Joe Adams says too. In position of Jack Nine offsuit, flops a straight. Wow. Ivan shoves all in. He's over shoves Cal. what? <laughs> what the fuck him. is going on? What's up, Noah Schmortz? What's happening, Schmartz? Look at this crowd. Oh my God, are they, is that exciting? I love Asia. Look how excited they are. Can you imagine an American high roller? No one would be doing anything right now. There might not even be an audience there. Everyone supporting Ivan Hill looks like a Malaysian friend. 
So he needs a jack. He's gonna hit a jack basically here. Alright, let's get the hoodie done. <laughs> this PLO short deck a thing, I don't no, think so. Ooh. Oh no, backdoor flush draw. Okay, so Rui Cal. Uh oh. Six. Gives Ivan Leo more outs. Twenty five percent chance. This guy. That's a club. Oh. Ivan Leo wins. What a terrible play. Two. I think. What the hell? This game's this game's dumb. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go back to the beginning, okay? Cause I want to watch while we have some more play left and figure out what's going on here. Looks like he's gonna fire three outs, twenty-seven percent. What the fuck? Jason Coon, got ten suited. Does he want? We're going to go back to the beginning and watch it. Watch it. Because I didn't watch like the first 45 minutes of this. I'm just going to watch a little bit more of it. Let's see what exactly happens here. There's a blue table and a red table. I like that they give them colors. It's fun. Okay. Gabe Pogorski. We got Chan and Thad Dikowski still in the tournament as well. One of the better hands you can have. Imagine we're going to see Jason Kuhn folding. It could be a pretty big clash. What up, Jordan? 36 for 36 or Jordan. What's happening, papi? What's happening, brother? All right, we're learning how to play this game, damn it. Sofa says, now Nolan and Holdem. Now I know what Nolan Holdem players feel like when they watch PLO for the first time. Yeah, that makes sense. Both have an open and straight draw. A little bit of an edge here for Tank because he can. Uh, yeah, True says I hate this game already. Yuck, me too, brother. I kind of hate this game I mean, as well. Give this to the preflop aggressor, but I don't think Jason Kuhn's gonna go anywhere on this board. Yeah, it, it should be a chop if they get all in. That's guaranteed a chop. But it could, because they're getting close to the money. You could see someone bet, call, maybe check, check. They miss. Someone bets and wins. Gamble, spot. gamble. I so agree, man. Interesting to see how this one develops. Let's see what goes down here. Tang here. Trying to decide should he continuation bet here. Pretty deep. He doesn't really want to get check raised there. Looks like he is gonna fire three hundred and thirty thousand. So do we call here with Jack Ten? Jason. These are more interesting because now we have some post flop hands here. Does he want to check call? Check raise? Check raise? You know, Why would check, check raise? raise? Never a bad option. What? I mean, you're gonna flip against top air, so if your opponent has even a queen, you're gonna be close to the flip. Check raise? What? So he does opt to check call. This actually might create create a dynamic where someone might win this pot. I guess. Hundred percent. Turn is an Ooh. eight. Ooh. That gives Tang more outs. A straight flush draw. A straight hand <laughs> flush draw. It's also gonna be a very comfortable card now for him to go all in, just in case he gets called. He always has that extra little push. I, I like the idea of betting again. I think that Jason Kuhn, if he had ace king, well, a lot of times limp re raise ace king. So I can discount ace king a lot and put him on like ace queen. He's going to check. You know, he's not going to do ace it. Ace queen probably doesn't really want to get it all in right now when we're so close to the money. Really good point. Man, this would such a be, be such a brutal spot for Kuhn if he gets uh, shoved on. All in. Wow, Ooh, he did it. That is a great play. So Demon Tank with the same exact hand. I love this guy. He just picked up 590,000 chips into his stack. Classical example of why initiative and being the aggressor can be so important in poker. Yeah, this, they are shorthanded right now. I believe we're playing four-handed on this table. Four or five-handed. So you can't fault Jason Kuhn to... No, no, I don't need coffee. Hand. I need to go to bed, Sasha. Poppy, too. speak Spanish to us. Mamacita. Hola, Mamacita. Only Spanish from now on. Okay. That is such a sick check. You expect a lot of checks here from Ace King, Ace Jack, those sort of hands. 
I'll probably watch for another like a few minutes and I'm gonna go to sleep, guys, because it's getting pretty late here. It's 4:40 in America, in Las Vegas right now. When is short deck high low coming? I hope never. True says I have a newfound love for twos, threes, fours, and and even fives. I agree, I do too. I want to go play Texas Hold'em after watching this. Papi only knows Cancun, Spanish, Mamacita, Coda Mosa Caramola Mota, Baby, Mucho, Mucho Bonita, Papi, Papi, Mucho Grande, hey, hey, Papi, Papi, Mi, Papi, Mi Amor, Mi Amor, Mi, Mucho Grande, hey, 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 Quesadilla Bonita. <laughs> What's up, Ian Molin Yon Yon Maloney? P Fanutos, is it possible to crush it this game? Probably, I'm sure it is. Why wouldn't it be? I'm sure cash games are different, I would imagine. I don't like watching this game. Believe me, I'm confusing too. This is confusing me as well. I'm confused too. Players remaining. If the next player, when the next player busts, we will combine the two tables. This is PLO version 2.0, better than PLO. No, it isn't. Yeah, here we go. All in on the other table. Pagorski, all in with Kings. Got to learn this game. Get to bed. John says, "What up, John? Dude, what's happening, brother? What's going on, pimping? Big pimp." <laughs> When I saw John at the World Series, he was looking, but he was looking like a pimp daddy. Had a cigarette in his hand. Looked like he's about to go uh, get after it, find himself some action in Las Vegas. P Small's funniest Spanish-speaking Polak in the poker realm. That is, that could be me for sure. <laughs> Man, this game's kind of boring, bros. I don't know. Maybe it's just in tournament form. I just don't even care who wins. I just want I don't want to see all ins. I just want to watch I want to watch some hands play out. If I want to watch all ins, I'll go watch something else. Such a tough spot. Every spot is just tough when you're Bonita tough Chica, Mamacita, Raul. Peace Malls, Joey's a riff raff for the poker. I don't know what that means. Peace Malls, you're the fucking Peace Malls, you're the you're the something of stuff something. I don't know what you are. What have we learned from this stream? I actually don't know what we've learned. I've learned that watching this in tournament form is, it does not seem that fun. I've learned that a flush beats a full house. I've learned that these guys from Asia seem a little bit insane. I've learned that Tang really likes Tomorrowland. I've learned that Jason Kuhn runs really well. I've learned that Lex and Nanonoko do a good job of, of commentating. Makes an open ender, but the 10 is no good. That's what I've learned. Well, an ace would make Ivan Leo a straight. I've learned that an ace, ace equals a five, correct? Sky, because not a lot of people play a seven in their hand. Check, check. In the river card. Jack. So, Ruikal makes two pair. Mark says, hey, Joey, can I be a part of the podcast when you drop acid? No. A flush beats a full house. What about three pair? Um, I don't think it beats three pair. Are me and Lex still friends? Of course we are. Of course me and Lex are still friends. This game is pretty boring, guys. I'm falling asleep. I don't want to watch this damn thing anymore. I'm not watching this fucking game anymore. <laughs> this game's so boring. What the hell is this game? This is so dumb. 
<laughs> but you guys are sure the cash games are better? Chan here. Tom Dwan has to hit an eight or a queen to make a straight. One queen is dead. It's in Chan's hand. Are you guys sure cash games are better? Forty-four. Excuse me. Dwan is all in at risk here. I'm disliking. No, I'll, I'll like it. I'm giving this a thumbs up. I'm smashing the thumbs up button here. Is this the cash game? Hey guys, this is Randy now. No. Right. Sometimes when you see weird play. No, this isn't. Like keep it going too. Where's the cash game for short deck? Does anybody know where it's at? They have a good hand. Whereas when you're playing the seven deuce bounty, you go, you would walk up on the table and be like, "Ooh, it looks like they all think they have a good hand," or maybe seven deuce. And so it makes it pretty interesting. But I guess they're not playing it because Ivy didn't show it and collect a bunch of money from everyone. I don't know what's happening here. Guys, I'm going to take off. I'm going to go to bed. Much love, everybody, for tuning in. Very ca casual, random, late-night stream. Orbital, Frabu, Sasha, David, Raul, Jeff, Mark, P. Small, Solange. If you had to choo fight one of the three in an MMA fight, who would you choose? Doug Polk, Jay Nandez, or Dunka P? Why would I fight any of those people? Kind of weird questions, that. But uh, all right, I'm out. Peace. Much love.